I survived 100 days inside Minecraft Pixelmon. My friends at play.pokesaga.org have challenged me to survive 100 days inside their incredible Pixelmon server. With six different incredibly fun realms to choose from and so many Pokemon to catch, they set me three main objectives for my 100 days inside. One, find and catch 100 different Pokemon from any generation. Two, get my starting team to level 100, but there's a catch. My starting team has to be my first Pokemon and then a mix of shinies and legendaries. Three, defeat the flying gym because I hate birds. They creep me out. If you guys want to join me in the dream realm, follow the link in the description below on how to install the mod pack and join the Pixelmon server. Let's see what happens next. On day one, I loaded into the lobby of the server. This is so cool. I decided to pick the dreams realm. And when I loaded in, I got an awesome starter kit. And I also got to pick my first Pokemon. It was a really difficult choice, but I decided to go with Charmander. One Pokemon down, 99 to go. <laughs> I was also gifted some awesome keys to open some crates and was given top rank. Awesome. I decided to open a shiny crate first and I got a Mudstale. Two down, 98 Pokemon to go now. Look at me, huh? I warped to a random location to find myself an area to build for my base. I found the perfect spot, my own little island, and I got to work. I chopped down wood and mined for materials, and I got to building my house. On day two, I went outside and saw a Sentra. I 100% had to do my first Pokemon battle. Sorry if I pronounce any of the names wrong. And I nailed it. I made easy work at the Sentra and moved on to a Mareep. He knew what was up because he killed my Charmander. I sent out my Mudsdale and he made light work of it. I fought into the night and then went home and made my bed. I decided to go to the Poke Center to heal my Pokemon from their day of battles. Ah, that's much better. I made my way home and hit the hay. Wait, I'm on a server. <laughs> Beds don't matter. My bad. I spent the rest of the night training my Pokemon, but let's just say it didn't go well. I ended up finding a random Pokeball in the desert and it gave me a TM Rage. So cool. I started off day three doing some mining and found some silicone ore and sapphire crystals. I'm not sure what I can use them for yet, but they'll definitely come in handy. Then a ghastly appeared, a level 12. So I thought I might try and catch this one to add it to my collection. The first three Pokeballs failed, so I decided to fight it instead. Mudsdale didn't do much damage, but maybe it was just my pokey skills at the minute are rusty. So I sent Charmander out to come to the rescue. Or so I thought. He spent most of the time confused from the Ghastly's attack. Eventually, we got its health down, and I tried again. Boom! I caught a level 12 Ghastly. I was so happy, but I have a long way to go if I'm going to achieve my goal of 100 Pokemon in 100 days. I started off day four by deciding to use two of my awesome keys and going and opening two Ultra Crates. I got a World Ball Spawn Egg, cool, and my second key gave me 100 tokens. For now, my Charmander needs more training. This little dude needs to get to level 16 for it to evolve. He really sucks right now. <laughs> oh well. I had to go back and forth to the Poke Center until I had what I needed to make my own Pokemon healer. Over the two days, I managed to catch five new Pokemon and add them to my collection. I caught a P-Dove, Electrike, Zubat, Rookie D, and a Roly Coley. I'm definitely pronouncing some of these names wrong. <laughs> Day 7, I went back to spawn to open some more crates. I used a master key for the master crate and that gave me 200 tokens. And then I used a gray key and it gave me $25,000. Woohoo! Jackpot! My next task was to get the stuff I need to make a pokey healer. I needed iron ingots, a diamond, and aluminium plates. Now that I have the dollar, I bought them. <laughs> that was super easy. I made the anvil I was going to need first, and then I made the hammer. Well, I made the wrong hammer. Back to the shops I go. <laughs> then I put the aluminium on the anvil and used the new hammer to make them into plates. Then I put them all together into the crafting table like this, and boom. Now I have my very own Pokemon healer. I wasted no time catching another Pokemon, a Militank. It broke the first Pokeball, and then I did the most noob thing ever. I misclicked and selected my Master Ball. Oh man, I need to get a new one to catch a legendary. 
Then I caught Lillipup, healed my Pokemon in my new healer, and called it a night. Days 8 to 10, I wanted to check out what this awesome server had to offer. So I started one of its really cool features, a Poke Hunt. It had four difficulty levels. I chose the easiest level for now, and it gave me three hours to complete my task, to find and capture a Talo. I knew these guys spawned during the daytime in a forest biome, so that's where I went. There were so many new and different types of Pokemon where I was. I found it so hard not to capture them all, but the time crunch to find a Talo was on. One hour into my search and nothing. Yikes. After nearly two hours, I found it, but he was only a level five. I didn't want to kill it, so I tried a Pokeball first. The first Pokeball failed. The second one, come on. Yes, I did it. Job done. Now back to the hub to hand it over to complete the hunt. Woohoo, I received an evolution stone and it's a water stone. I'm definitely going to keep this until I find an Eevee and turn it into a Vaporeon. On day 11, I went straight to the level grinder room to start grinding some XP. We took on a level 100 Blicey. First up, Mudsdale. I got it to level 23 and found a new move, Bulldoze. I replaced Mudslap with it, but I'm really, really bad at choosing what moves to pick and what to replace. I replaced Iron Defense with Stomp, and I kept grinding now at level 34, then 37, 40. This thing is a beast! I swapped my Pokemon around to get all the Pokemon I had on me to a decent base level. Woohoo! Look! My Charmander is evolving! It's now a Charmeleon! Then, my Ghastly! Now it's a Haunter! Oh my gosh! After some more work, my Charmeleon, it became a Charizard! Woohoo! Level 47! Look at this thing! I even took it for its first flight. I'm gonna call it quits now and get them all healed up at home. Jeez, that took ages! But look at this team. Woohoo! I called it quits after five days, but these guys were starting to grow on me. On day 16, I wanted a new challenge spawning the world boss I got from the crate. Oh my gosh, it's Kobaline. Look at that crowd. Yikes! They're watching me fail pretty hard right now. He took out four of my team so far. I was so not ready for this fight. Okay, well that was a fail and everyone saw it. <laughs> Guess I still have a lot of work to do with my Pokemon. Back to the drawing board. He is pretty cool though. I spent the next few days working on one of my ultimate objectives, catching a hundred different Pokemon. First up, a Buffalant. Funny name. <laughs> he refused to get into the Pokeball. Jeez. After like 20 million Pokeballs, he finally gave up. On to the next after a quick stop in the shop for more Pokeballs. My Pokemon kept on killing them. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try weaker ones to try and stop these smaller ones. I stopped at a Pokeball and found pure incense. Cool! After my few days hunting, I managed to add six new Pokemon to my collection. At the end, I had 23 Pokemon. So I'm nearly a quarter of the way through my days and my Pokemon. I spent day 21 shopping! My favorite. I bought a fossil machine and then realized I was running out of money. So I decided to do another Pokemon hunt to try and round up those dollars. I chose to do a medium hunt this time. I have three hours to complete it again, but this time I have to find a sand shrew. These guys spawn in the desert, so that is where I go. And just like the last Poke hunt, this one went on for hours. Just as the sun was going down, I thought all was lost, but then I remembered they spawn at night. Only 30 minutes left of the hunt. It's now or never. Wow, look, there it is. I found it. I took no chances and used an ultra ball. Boom, I got it. While I was out there, I still had some time left on the hunt. I caught a few of these cool Pokemon to add to my collection. I brought the Sand Shrew to the Poke Center and what? It didn't meet the requirements. Oh no, the size was wrong. I don't have much time now. I need to get back to the desert to get one, but it's daytime. I'm going to try and capture some more Pokemon until it goes nighttime again. After searching for another four full days, nothing. What a giant waste of time and no money to show for it. At least I caught a trap inch for my troubles. It's day 26 and I have 31 Pokemon caught. It's going well so far. I decided to head down towards the crates to use some more of my keys. I started with the great key and got 400 tokens. Shiny key and I got Luft Disk. Cool. Omega key and I got a legend key from that. I used another Omega key and got the battle bound Greninja. The Amiga key again gave me 2,000 tokens, another one gave me 1,000 tokens, and then the Omega key gave me a shiny legend key. Oh my gosh! The legend key gave me a Registeel, and the shiny legend key gave me a Kyrem. 
so cool. And that is all of my crates. This means I now have four legendary and shiny Pokemon all in my top six. It's day 27 and it's time to put my starting team to the test. It's my first tower battle day. My first battle didn't go too well. Charizard was made light work off of this trainer's first Pokemon. I sent out Mudsdale next and he won, but the trainer's next Pokemon killed me. Then I sent out Greninja, but he was dead straight away. Registeel is doing good work here and defeated his second Pokemon. His third one one-shotted Registeel. I was definitely rusty. Caillou Rem is next and he killed his third. Now Raticate made light work of Caillou Rem. My last Pokemon is a dud and he made light work of me. Wow, my first battle did not go as well as I had hoped. At least I got some practice in. For the next few days, I wanted to do something fun to take my mind off the fact I failed so bad yesterday. So I decided to add some color to my base, pink to be exact. I dug out some of the wooden floor and replaced it with pink concrete. So pretty! I visited the head shop on the server to use a decoration around your house, but at 5k ahead, I gave it a miss for now. I then had an idea to get some pink dye from the shop and make some pink pokey rugs. Look at these bad boys, cool or what? I then bought a fossil cleaner so I could clean me some fossils. I set off to the mines to find some fossils. You can find fossil blocks in gravel piles, so first I found me some piles of gravel and I dug and dug, but nothing. Only flints. Just before I called it quits for the day, I found this Sableye. Never seen this guy before. I took it on and eventually captured it. Another one for my race to 100 Pokemon. Day 31 started off amazing! This little Pokemon looks like my real life dog Buttons. <laughs> I have to catch this one. I really didn't want to kill this guy so I had to be so careful what Pokemon I sent out to battle it. After going through two to no effect, I chanced to slash for my Charizard. Ah! It worked! I sent out a Pokeball, let's catch this thing. I did it! My very own Herdier. Or should I say, Buttons. <laughs> On day 32, I remembered I have a water evolution stone. My plan is to find an Eevee and use the water stone to evolve it to a Vaporeon. I needed to get to a birch forest during the day because that's when they spawn. I used the command slash biome or TP to bring up the list of biomes and found the birch biome I needed. Before I knew it, the sun was going down on my first day of the Eevee hunt. I decided to head back to the Poke Center and swap out some of my Pokemon for weaker ones as my team keep killing everything else. I did manage to catch one Pokemon though. I caught a Fungus, so not a complete wasted time. I spent another full day searching for Eevee and I was not giving up. I added some cool new Pokemon to the collection and I tried to catch this Murkrow, but he was so stubborn I ran out of all my Pokeballs. After six more days searching, I finally found what I was looking for. My Eevee! Not in the conventional way, but with a swap from another player. I really love this feature on the Pokesaga server. You can gift other players, you can trade, and you can also buy from a general store. It's awesome! And I mean, look at her, she's so cute. Now all I had to do was give her the water stone. Wow, that was so cool. She evolved from an Eevee to a Vaporeon. On day 40, I swapped back to my top six Pokemon. Four shiny slash legendaries and my new Vaporeon. And of course, my Charizard. I went to the grinder to level up my Pokemon to try and take on that tower again for the second time. I spent the entire day leveling up my A-team and boy, do they look great out there. Look at this lineup, everyone is over level 50. Day 41 and today is the day. I'm gonna look for a gym and take it on. It's the only way to learn. I looked to see what's open and I chose a flying gym. Let's go! The battle begins, I choose my team, Charizard, Vaporeon and Caillou Rem. My Charizard made light work of his first Pokemon and next up, Charizard died, but my Caillou Rem killed it in one. Then on his final pick, the trainer put out a Charizard and Mega evolved into a Mega Charizard. It made light work of Caillou Rem and Vaporeon. I guess I needed more work to take this guy down, including potions for healing. So I decided to head home, get some rest when I spotted some fans outside. Looks like they turned my garden into an overgrown jungle. That's what I get for inviting people over and then leaving. Speaking of inviting people over, you can use the slash warp little underscore Kelly to come and check out my base. They did make a really cool fan clubhouse though, so cute! They even left some stuff in a box for me. And it looks like there's tons more Pokemon spawning around here. This will definitely help me get to my 100 Pokemon in 100 days. I wanted to attempt another Poke Hunt on the server. It has to be one of the coolest features of Poke Saga. I went for an easy one again this time and it gave me a female Barboach. I had three hours. 
I went to its natural spawning biome by using the command slash biome or TP again. So handy. I can find it in swamps or any main waterway, really. I chopped some wood and made myself a little boat. It took me a few hours, but no luck in the swamp. I changed my location and tried again. After another two days of searching, I found it. Halfway through the battle, I realized it was a male and I needed a female. Oh man, I spotted another not too far away and it was another male. Hey, these guys stole my boat. After many failed attempts to find a female, I finally came across one. Jeez, only took like three days. The battle went on for an eternity. I was using all the wrong Pokemon to fight it with and it kept healing, but eventually I did it. After I brought it back, I got a master ball. Not dollar, a master ball. But that's okay, it will definitely help me capture my last legendary. The next few days I spent catching as many Pokemon as I possibly could, including these guys. I started in the swamp biome, I caught a Skirskit, a Corphus, and a Wooper. And then I went to the extreme hills biome where I caught a Machop, a Fampi, and a Karkul. The last biome of my adventures, the Roof Forest. There I caught a Scoovit <laughs> and a Seawaddle. I had a total of 54 in my collection now, getting so close to my final target of 100 different Pokemon caught, over halfway there. When I got home, I saw some fans have made more improvements on my base. Look at those jungle trees, so big. And some pink beacons, wow, you guys are the best. Don't forget, Warp Little Kelly will get you to my home so you guys can join in. On day 53, I stayed local, so to speak. All the work my fans are putting in, it only seemed fair I did the same. I went to the shops and bought some materials to add some more pizzazz to my base. <laughs> I started to build my very own masterpiece. A huge pixel art Pokeball with a twist. It was going well until I took a step back. Yikes, I was well off center. I figured it out and kept going. By the end, this was my masterpiece. What do you guys think? A pink Pokeball. I spent the next few days grinding my Pokemon. These guys were my A team and they needed to be at a high level if we were gonna take on these gyms in our final days on the server. Look at these guys, all minimum level 60. I feel like trying a gym again in the morning. Day 61, D-Day, or should I say, W-Day for the win. First thing, skill key for a skill crate, 50 tokens. Then I bought some potions for my gym battle. I got a lot of full restore and max revive. Now I hit the gym with everything I have. Let's try this again at the flying gym. I selected the team, Charizard, Vaporeon, and Kyurem. Celestila versus Charizard first. Flamethrower did well, but Celestila came back with a heavy hit. I decided to restore Charizard's health. I hit with Flamethrower again, nearly there. Celestila couldn't handle me. Charizard hit again, but Celestila protected itself against its attack. I used Flamethrower one last time and it worked. One down. Next up, Landorus. I went for Flamethrower, but Landorus one-punched me. Yikes. Next out for me, Caillou Rem. I got hit with an attack that nearly killed me, but I fought back with Blizzard and I one-hit him. I did a full restore on Caillou Rem and the trainer sent out his last Pokemon, Charizard. He mega evolved it right away again. He used Flamethrower and nearly got me. I didn't even get to get a hit back before he took me out. Now it was 1v1, Vaporeon versus Charizard. I went with Hydro Pump, but he hit me first and nearly took me out. I restored Vaporeon's health to full and got hit again. This last punch needs to work. It's all or nothing. Vaporeon needs another restore. Charizard used Flamethrower and it wasn't that effective. Now is my chance. I hit with Hydro Pump again and it did it. I won. I defeated my first gym, the Flying Gym. I was so pumped and happy. My Pokemon did an amazing job. I spent the next 10 days on the high of my win and hunting for more Pokemon for my collection. I traveled to many different biomes and caught so many new Pokemons that I hadn't seen on the server before like Ekans, Mankey, Joltik, Teddy Ursa, Skiddo, Greedent, Magnemite, Cupchoo, Vanillaite, and Bergmite. At home, I was healing my friends and my new total of Pokemon is 66. I'm definitely gonna have to put some more work in if I wanna get to 100 in 100 days. Today, I wanted to try out another cool feature on the server, the events. They pop up on your screen and you can follow the link there. 
Look at this place filled with other players having fun. It's so cool. Hopefully I can win this thing, but I still don't know what's going on. I'll do anything to win. I'm super competitive. Okay, I followed the group at the start until I realized that I need to find the color that matches the text on screen. There was some close calls, <laughs> but no, I got the boo. I didn't get to the yellow on time. That was so much fun though. Let's see who wins. And there we have it. Futar wins. GG, my friend. Well done. Next round is mine for sure. Down to the final few, but then my name is mentioned in the chat and I get distracted. No, I missed out again. I wipe away my sorrow by opening some crates and I got some blocks. The final rush was on to catch my 100 different Pokemon in 100 days. I started day 74 with 67 Pokemon and it took me 16 full days of hunting to catch them all. On day 90, I was on 99 Pokemon, so close to completing my second objective. On day 91, I went fishing to try and battle a Dragonair so I could get the orb drop and get a legendary Pokemon. I was out there four days when I realized I needed a different fishing rod to catch it and it was seeming more and more likely I was going to fail my last objectives. I spent the next two days grinding my legendary and shiny Pokemon. I wanted to try and get them all to a level 100, but I was still one Pokemon and one legendary short of completing everything. Heartbroken, I didn't know what to do. Then it came to me. On day 99, I contacted the owner of the server. He was super cool enough to give me some shiny legendary keys so I could complete my objective. I went to spawn with my keys in hand, ready to finish the 100 days on a high. I opened the crate and I got a Heatron. He looks so cool. I've never seen anything like him. Thanks, Pokesaga. On day 100, I chilled at my base with my legendary and shiny Pokemon. I had did it! 100 days of Pixelmon on the Pokesaga server. It had been a blast and honestly, one of the most fun and enjoyable servers I've played on in a long time. Don't forget guys, if you want to check it out, all the links are down in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to see 200 days of Pixelmon, let me know.